As you all know, last week Juno properly joined the hero roster, being the 8th hero to join the roster in Overwatch 2. Now, there's been a bit of discourse amongst the community about how bad slash good she is. She recently got a slight buff to make her stronger because initially on release, she was pretty weak, but now when played properly, she absolutely shreds. That's kind of the main point of this video. As you read in the title, Juno's not bad, it's you. I mean, it's to be expected. I'm not having a go at you for being bad at a new hero. She's a new hero. No one knows how to play her properly yet. Hell, even I don't know how to play her properly yet. I'm not terrible on Juno, but I do slip up here and there because I'm still adjusting to the fact that they heal like Ana, but to get the most value out of her, you kind of have to play like Tracer. I'll explain what I mean in a minute because it will take your stats to an all-time high, but first, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe and leave a like on this video, as I want to continue making Overwatch 2 related content that's not only entertaining, but educational too. So, as I said before, she has the same kind of healing as Ana, but to get the most value out of her, you kind of need to play her like Tracer. Obviously, you can take a more passive approach as Juno and play like Ana, keeping in the backline and playing more like you're in a poke comp, but there's three pieces of her kit that you need to be taking advantage of. Aerial Glide, Homing Torpedoes, and Double Jump. Your homing torpedoes are an absolute game changer, taking both your damage and healing numbers to another level. When used to heal, they can get an ally from critical to nearly full health, almost like a homing arnonade. When used to kill, they can take an enemy from around just under half health straight to the grave. Combined with your aerial glide and double jump, you will always hit at least one person in the team fight because you basically have infinite high ground. Depending on the map, obviously, it can be a bit hard to get high ground on some maps, but most of the time it's relatively easy. This is how you'll get your healing and damage up, meaning you'll get more kills. It's easy to forget about this ability in the heat of a fight, but I'm telling you, playing like Tracer where you occasionally have your hero moment and go in on a dive with your torpedoes, is so rewarding and your team will love you for it. Now, I want to talk about her ult for a second because from what I've seen just from playing with and against other Junos is that people don't really know how to use it or when to use it yet. Yes, you can use it on a dive or rush to make space and gain extra ground on game modes like push and escort, as that's the way Blizzard kind of intended it to be used, but it's also really good for zoning. Think about it. If a team is playing high ground and it's just generally a bit of a pain to get around, for example, like the majority of Dorado, you can use your ult on said high ground to force them to jump down onto point or just generally fall back, making it easier for you and your team to go in and secure a bunch of kills, making it even easier to gain ground in push or escort. This is why she works so well in Clash 2. You can basically block doorways with her ult, making it a bit of a pain for the enemy team to get to point. Do they risk it and push up into your ult, or do they take the other doorway where your team is going to be able to loop? See, it's a great zoning goal, but that just about does it for this video. Now, I know this video was only a short one, but I just kind of wanted to talk about how you can improve your Juno game, because she's actually really good when played well. This isn't me defending her because she's such a cute oo girl, oh my god, look at her go, she's so baby girl. No, she's genuinely a unit. When her abilities are used in an optimal scenario, she can actually secure a team kill. Her torpedoes go absolutely nuts when it comes to both healing and damage, so gaining the high ground so you can shoot over shields and stuff that will just generally mitigate them is absolutely paramount to taking her to a higher level. Anyways, thanks for watching. Once again, I'm going to ask you to like this video as it lets me know that you find these videos not only to be helpful, but entertaining. Hopefully this video has helped you understand how to play Juno a bit better. It's still early into the season, so it's fine to play bad. She's a new hero, so, you know, it happens. Finally, have a nice day or night if you're watching this at night, and make sure to check out my other videos. Not only will I appreciate it, but you might too.